Alright, let's start. Aw, kitty. Aw, other kitty. I don't know what to expect. Aww. Yo, cats don't do that, man. My cats fucking kill each other. Bro, this looks so... So smooth. Okay, I'm gonna fuck him up. are plotting some war crimes, probably. Got the zoomies. Aww. That is too cute. It's beautiful. A little ear twitch. I love when Bagel does that. Oh, damn. Where the hell am I? Okay, the animation for them jumping down is... You know, could be better. A little janky. That's fine. Does look pretty. Never thought I'd have fun running through leaves <laughs> as a fucking cat. Oh my god. This is not realistic. My cats have suicide jumped off railings before, and I can't. Yo, move, fat ass. Oh. Okay. Someone's eating a little bit too much, because that was starting to shake. Oh no, something's gonna happen. Oh no, don't do it! You idiot. Oh no! They just look at you? That was the saddest thing I've ever seen! Oh my god! Why would they start it like that? CC, come here. I need a hug. Okay, bitch. Oh no, he's limping! Oh. He passed out. My day is ruined and my disappointment is immeasurable. That's how I feel. What was that? Oh, not limping anymore, but still can't sprint. And now I can sprint. 
somehow he just fully healed. Ooh. Dead city. Yo. Come back, I'm gonna fuck you up. I just, I literally just saw it disappear. From my screen. Oh, that's a robot. Damn. How ominous. Oh, I want to sprint right into it. Oh god. Puzzles. This is the worst, because the puzzles are always so easy for chat to solve, and then for me, I just sit here looking like a fucking dumbass. Oh. Okay, I got a bucket. Am I filling it up? Am I doing it? I don't think so. Wait, there's multiple buckets. Oh my god. A red herring. I wonder if I drop it here, if it'll like break the fan. I'm so smart. No, that's just classic cat behavior. Oh, there's spikes. Easy. They had no need to add this, but they did it anyways. Shut up, CC. Trying to enjoy that cat game. No money. Sounds like chat. All they need is another sign saying no bitches. Oh, If that is not the cutest fucking thing. I don't know what is. Oh, poor robot. I just fucked it up. Oh, another cinematic. Am I about to die? Oh, they're a bunch of Wally -E bots. Oh no, they're gonna ruin my life. Uh oh. Oh my god. I'm getting gang beat. Came to the wrong side of town. Oh, what the? They stick to me. Oh my god. Oh my. It's like zombies. Bobbin' we bobbin' we going right. Uh -oh. <laughs> Easy. This feels like a, a much easier version of Mirror's Edge. Legos. 
Oh, I didn't even see that. The whole city is just designed for cats. <laughs> I could do this for hours. Oh my... This cat ain't dying. Okay, so I gotta stop that again somehow. Okay, well that worked. Got it for free, yeah. People are saying that it's apparently free with PlayStation Plus. We got wine, empty beer cans, and a computer setup. Annie? We got more wine. I'm not even on the C key. Yeah, that time I was kind of on the four. Okay. Oh no, more puzzles, okay. the last one. Okay, no, I'm just fucking legally blind. It's, it's somewhere here. Oh my god, it was right there. Okay. Secret compartment. Pretty cool. Always wanted one of those. Body. Cat's so smart. Get into the cardboard box. I just love Dex. Bro. I'll see if I can after. Aww. Friend? Classic. Beat up your friend. Your sub elixir. Okay. I've been trapped in the electronic network for so long, and I worked for a scientist who lived here. Uh, for now you can call me B12, that's what it says on my exterior. It's dangerous in the dead city, but you seem like you know how to handle yourself. Let's get out of here, follow me. The key unlocks the door, I remember that much. I just love Dex, bro. Is he gonna get it for me or game looks low budget? If you think this looks low budget, then I'm curious what masterclass games you're playing. Battery low already, come over here. Oh. Bro, 
this is every single fucking cat. You put like a onesie on them or something, and they just completely forget how to move. They be twerking. The back backpack was designed for small quadrupeds like you. Is this uncomfortable for you? Don't worry, you'll get used to it. I've detached the key and stored it in the backpack. Torchlight, yeah, that's a hundred percent British. Uh, was I supposed to learn the code? No one tell me what it is. Oh. Three, seven, four, eight. Oh, this is gonna be absolutely adorable right here. Aww. Uh oh. Feels like I've been there before. Is this where you came from? No, it ain't wasn't that nice. Promised someone I would go there, promised too. This postcard, the mural was painted from it. Let's take it. I'm fucking just stealing everything. What are these memories? How did they get here? Let's keep going. Okay. This does make me want to play Mirror's Edge. Because I never played Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Whee! Oh. Ah! Oh my god. Bruh. You fucking gremlins. Uh. That doesn't seem good. Why is everyone afraid of me? No one wants to hang out with me. Oh yes. And have their own language. You're no Zerk. I'm not familiar with your kind. You're welcome in our village as long as you don't eat anyone. <laughs> I want to fight him. What do you need? 
ridiculous. This elevator isn't operational. Everyone knows that it is impossible to leave this place. Well, except the outsiders. But they've all gone now, except Momo. Okay. You can try to talk to him if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. He lives high up in that building with the orange neon sign. It's like halfway up there. Easy. Oh, can I play? Oh, they're not playing. They're throwing paint. Oh, boy. Wait till you find out about what cats do with paint. Oh, just kidding. Won't let me knock them over. Oh. Hi, buddy. Yeah, it's interesting so far, Yoshi. Well, let me fucking download it. Ooh. It's never going to work. Why I let them go? I'm all alone now. What do you want? This picture of the outside? Do you want to go there? Don't bother, it's a waste of time, it'll bring you only loneliness and despair. My friends had the stream too, but now they're gone and I'm all alone. I don't know where they end up, ended up, I tried to contact them, but that fucking transceiver doesn't work. My friends and I took notes of our research but about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go out there. Momo's notebook, one out of four. You're on your own, I'm done with the outside, good luck. Momo seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook he gave us. The Outsider's Manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from Zerks. It is signed Clementine, Zabaltzazar, Doc, and Momo. I think we should find the other notebooks. Are you still looking for those useless notebooks? That's my notebook. I was the last to join the Outsiders, and I'm also the last remaining one. Okay. Poor Momo. Well. Uh... Uh, how do I? Okay, there we go. It actually makes your uh, controls reverse there. The city has a cylindrical shape of about 450 meters in diameter. There's a level above ours. The city seems to have a ceiling, if I believe my books. A big blue sky is hidden behind. 8801. 558-495-8801. Someone in chat remember that. Oh, we're gonna come in later. Five five eight four nine five eight eight zero one. The symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. I would have not noticed that. Outsider notebook. It's the same logo as the m one Momo gave us. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Everything is going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down there in a place called Midtown, and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. We talked to Momo earlier. His eyes. I know this low-key will not come with us. Let's find the other notebooks. Hello. I want to drop another bucket. Damn. Just made him waste a bucket. What 
a clumsy motherfucker. Actually, what that say? Ventilation power supply. Oh. I don't know what happened to the power supply I was carrying, but... Gotta drink some water. Hydrate. Damn, just knocking everything over. Oh. We got Zabaldzars. Another notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Zabaldzar. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate. As if being locked in the city wasn't hard enough. Let's find the other notebooks. So I assume the Zerks are the, the little glowy things. Damn. Smart. There it is. That's a lot of books. Not that this is going to help my allergies at all, but I brought Bagel up. Bagel, you see that cat there? He's just as fucked up as you. You know what I know you want? Your basket. You love your basket. You stay right there, Bagel. Yeah. Hey, Doc, I found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. Or they leave it there. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bu bunch of books. Just the library. God, I'm so artistic. Oh. Aww. So there is a safe behind a bunch of books. I don't see a safe. Oh. Oh my god. I'm legally blind. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. There's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design flaw on the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If I can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show him what we found. How do I get the other stuff? Hi, Momo. We're back. Hello, cat. Are you still looking for those useless notebooks? It belonged to Doc. He was really a, <coughs> a huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He always, he was always on the verge of a great discovery. And Clementine's knows she was really brave. You know, the most fearless person I've ever met. Maybe you should find all my friends' notebooks. Oh, what's this note? The transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible. That means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. Clementine's, Zabaldzar, and Doc. I'm sorry I doubted your, our cause. I promise you. I promise you. I, I will find a way to reach the surface. We might be able to find a way up. Or find you a way up. Now let's fix this piece of drunk transceiver. And by that means, he means he's gonna fix it, and then, as a cat, I will just sleep. Up there, you see that building high above the others? If you install a transceiver at the very top of the tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there's a way out, they'll know it. How am I supposed to hold that? Okay, he needs me. I'm the only one... Small enough for this. That tower? Rooftops. Okay. Why 
Why would I want to attract them? Oh boy. Get absolutely destroyed. Oh. Oh. Ah. Okay. Trying to kill all of them. The city is full of neon, it wasn't always this way. There used to be a strict energy caps, especially in the slums, but people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again, but people saw hope and not long after everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes, there was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colors again like on the outside, I think it helped. I guess if I jump back, it'll start swinging more. Yeah. God, I'm so smart. Oh. Oh. Oh, he slides on the blood. Ew. feel stable but I'm actually almost there holy shit I feel like I traveled so far ah I did not see this damn what the hell is this is it what the zerks are those little bubbles turn everything into this Had a pulse achievement, which don't really know why, because I didn't do anything, but Let me jump one. Oh no. I died? 
Okay, well, I tried to jump and it didn't let me. My bad. Oh, my, I have to do all of that again? Bro, this is too much. Come with me and you'll see a world of pure death. Oh shit, oh shit. More death. I shook him off. There was nothing on me. Okay, well, more death. Wait, what is this? Uh oh, should not have done this. I know where Neko Corp. They were responsible for waste management. As trash from the upper levels overloaded the slums, they tried to develop a bacteria to dissolve it. After the humans disappeared, that bacteria mutated, growing, eating away way more than trash, and now we have Zerks. Let's go. Okay. So Zerks were first created to help with the trash problem. Gotcha. Oh, I'm dumb. I don't even need to, uh, kill these. Like, if I go over... Th oh. Fuck. Okay, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm dead. What was I stuck on? Oh, no, they can jump back over. Okay, well, my plan did not work. Yeah, well, they're all stuck over there for some reason. Won't question it. Right. Get the corpo thing again? I don't need to, do I? I already did it. I'll go back and see after. My god, there's just infinite amounts of them. Oh. Oh no, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm alive. God. This is what it's like when I go to a Rainbow Six convention and all my fans see me. Gotta get security to keep them at bay. Open, damn it. There it is. Put the transceiver on this antenna. Hopefully I still have that memory from that one thing. Pizza. I wonder if Annie would be down. Look, the view. It's beautiful from here. I remember now the city. It was meant to be a shelter. Those look like stars, but they're only lights marking the her hermetic roof sealing off the city. Humankind built this shelter to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can get go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. My promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. So I don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't, but I'm certain now this is my purpose, I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo, now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to go get help. I think it saved that memory. What a... what a ride. 
I don't know why it cut there. I, I'd like I wanted to see the ride back, but I guess I can't. Oh, there's a toy. Interest. Man, now I know how cats feel. Look, a note. Little outsider, if you're reading this, it means you're still alive. Excellent. Pack some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It is... Oh, yeah. Okay. Be careful. It is case-sensitive. See you at the bar. This must be a code for the window near the entrance. Let's go. waiting for us. I thought he had an afro to say. What kind of bar is this? It's gonna be like a 70s disco bar. Hey, little furball. Come here, I managed to get a signal. Just walk through his leg. see if I can get this thing working. This looks so much like so much fun. Almost got it. I don't know what he's doing. Can anyone hear me? Yes we can hear you. We are from the slums we're looking for a way out and wait is that you Zabaltzar? Momo? Psh. Can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice Zabaltzar. Where are you? Are the others okay? We are safe. Uh, we found a way up. Do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous. Zerks everywhere. Sewers, how? Hello? We lost the signal. I can't believe it. The Baltazar is alive and he, he and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers. Makes zero sense, but okay. Sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but if the Baltazar uh, made it, there must be a way. Also, I just realized, why is it that earlier the Zerks were running away from me, but now they're chasing me? You'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with Zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you, especially you, little one. I tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you, your business is none of my business. Seamus. Jacob. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same since. Don't listen to Seamus. He's just scared like... I was. If Doc built a weapon, let's start taking to join the outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me. Clean the porch of my shop again. Stop playing over my shop, you clumsy rascal. Oh, and <laughs> I leave my little footprints everywhere. Can we kill other cats? No, but we can probably kill you. On Shavis, open the door. You know your father would have wanted to help us. Well, that was that was to be expected. The situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me. But you, I think I have an idea. Here, take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. Contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. In the secret la lab, little outsider, I'm going back to the bar to try to reestablish communication with the others.
What are you doing here? I told you, getting through sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be. What's this? Wait, is this my papa's? How do robots have babies? Oh wow, I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat, but where? I don't know. Secret lab, right under my nose. Maybe there are clues hidden somewhere around here. It's just a... I go sweat. Oh, for me, a million dollar question. Time will tell. That means it's a clock. It has something to do with a clock. Okay. Or the four fucking clocks they have for some reason. Time will tell. Is that some kind of clue? Yes, you idiot. The clocks. with them. Okay. Never noticed the digicode before. How did I miss it? No idea what the password could be. So, 2511. Damn! Seamless wall? Bro, how would you not know that this is in your apartment? Those four, you saw those four crossed out digits before? Oh, was it part of the, the other code? Never seen this room, I can't believe he managed to hide it from me all this time. These blueprints, they must be for his Zerk weapon, Papa, was always so secretive with his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed a real-life test. He went outside the slums, and he never came back. No robot news headline, Zerk has officially no longer... Or no longer officially under control, and they now eat metal. Observation, cute sound... Oh, man. Cute sounds, but never friendly. Old bacteria of human time. Eat... All kinds of materials, total vision of dark, react to intense light. Broken tracker. Anything interesting? Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. Why was he tracking his own son? I can't believe my papa might still be alive. I missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair a tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slum should be able to help. Come with me, I'll open the door for you. You gotta fix that tracker, you're resourceful. Maybe you can find someone in the slums to help. The motherfucker literally said, we'll go find someone. And then I walk out and he's like, yeah, you're on your own. You're new around here, what can I do for you? What a beautiful object, and rare too. I know a guy who fixes stuff like this. He's very talented, just a little... Well, you'll see. His name's Elliot. His office is just left of here, near Grandma's shop. There are signs all over his door. Yeah, Annie's, uh... Annie's pizza was phenomenal. Elliot programming. Knock on the door and wait for us to open. Meat, bitch. You're here for Elliot? He's just over there. We were programmed to be slaves, but since whatever many days, we have a soul. 
Uh, hope one day the outsiders will find the exit of this hell, Momo. Can I help you? Oh, that's a great track. I recognize this model. It's a Tohima, to Tohima, not Toshima. Um, BR2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget. May I? I know how to repair it, but when I'm trembling like this, I can't use my keeper. I don't know if I'm sick or something. I definitely don't feel right. How can a robot be sick? I can't work when I'm shivering like this. I think I need a blanket to be able to fix your tracker. You motherfucker said that he had a virus, and that's why he's sick? He needs a blanket. A robot needs a blanket. Just saying. Oh. Oh, that is not... No. I was gonna use that as a blanket. This tree is a scientific marvel. It's remarkable that human ingenuity found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. Organic life requires trees to purify the city's air. Robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyway. But humans would have wanted. Are you, Grandma? I do love knitting. So far, I've knitted 478 miles of scarves. It's something to do. If you bring me some electric cable, I, I could make you a poncho. You inspire me. It's not easy to find to uh, the right materials around here. How does an electric cable... I, okay, whatever. You should go visit the barter man. There's something for everyone over there. Is this the barter man? Yeah, over here was the barter man. Ah. I'm the merchant of the market. Uh, you give me something, I'll give you something in exchange. It's as simple as that. It's a set of electric cable, the best on the market. I'll exchange this for a super spirit detergent. Super spirit detergent, okay. The laundry will have detergent. Can I just steal from him? Yoink. Later, bitch. Nice, okay. Grandma, here we come. Aww. I can go up there. It'll suit you well. Nice little pawn show. Should be pretty easy. Let me try it on. Elliot really just changing clothes in front of me. I'm able to work again. Thanks, now I can definitely fix your tracker. Take a look, just gotta give it an update and one more thing and voila. Wow, just like that. I did manage to fix the tracker. Is this a chill game? Yeah. Let's follow the tracker. Maybe we'll find where my papa went. It's just like Marty from Back to the Future. Grumpy. You're making a reference that's a little bit too old for the rest of the community. I don't know where he's going. Must be it. He really left the slums. Dangerous out there, but I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. We're, we're going out there already? Or I need food first. first. That's cool. If the Zerks can eat everything, why is there still so much stuff standing? Look at all the Zerk eggs. They will eat us. I can't do this. 
Not as fast as you, the Zerks will get me for sure. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize it. He'll know that you're a friend. Open the door for you. Damn. Thanks, man. So helpful. Damn. Look at how huge this wall is. I remember it was a symbol of the division between those in the slums and in Midtown. That and the fact that they kept throwing their garbage down here. What a horrible thing to do. Maybe that's why they failed. Uh-oh. I didn't even see there was a gap. I almost died. <laughs> You're fine. <clears throat> Dark should be nearby. We must be close. Oh no, he's limping. Poor cat. Oh, he's fine. Okay. Uh oh, hello. The scientist I used to work for always said he wanted to retire to a little cottage. Fishing all day. Of course, that was not a possibility in the city, and nobody could have done that for at least 100 years. When we get to the outside, what if we find ourselves a little cottage with harmless fishing rod and a lot of books? Aww. I think that's what the scientists would have wanted. But first, we should go find Doc. Ooh, ball. Doc, are you in here? Oh, definitely not. Oh, maybe so. He's got them caged up. Can I stab them? Oh. Doc, is that you? It is. Oh, Zerk, who are you? It's my badge you're wearing. How'd you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, Seamus, you clever boy. I've been alone here for ages, but I came here to test my defluxer, but it didn't go as planned. I should go back home. I miss my son dearly. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. How did these robots survive forever? Don't they need some type of power source? Careful that the flux are at full charge can explode Zerks like confetti. 
Baby needs 1.21 gigawatts to work, and the only thing around here with that kind of juice is the generator outside the house. Grumpy, remember how earlier you said uh, Seamus looked a lot like Marty McFly? There might be a reason for that. Problem is that it won't start. I think a fuse blew, and with all those zerks around, it's too dangerous for me to go out and fix it. Not fast enough, but you just might be. If you can reach the generator and replace the fuse, I should be able to get the deflexor recharged. Come on, follow me. I'll show you what uh, what to do. Take this fuse. It's brand new. Turning on the generator will be loud, so expect some zerks. Once you fix the generator, I should be able to charge and kickstart the deflexor. Uh, you just need to follow this cable, change the fuse, and meet me back here. Best of luck. I'm gonna die. Oh. And I need to go back. <clears throat> uh oh. Oh, what the hell? Oh no, oh no! Oh god, I should have stayed in the light, I should have stayed in the light! Okay. Oh, ah. Now I know that I, uh... I can't run past them all. The spotlight's on me. And you got the generator back on. You see how powerful the deflexor is? It's definitely our way out of here. Wait a minute. I might be able to mount this deflexor to your drone. That is a big deflexor. What? My dude didn't add anything. How is he. What? It's not meant to run off such a small power source. If you use it too much, it could malfunction. Just remember, it's dangerous. Now let's get back home to the village. I'm coming home, son. Alright, teach me. It's working great, but as is expected, it can't overheat. Let it cool for a bit when that happens. I hope... I will last until we reach the village. The switch doesn't work. It looks like the electricity has been cut. Time for me to roll around. Like, Oh, it does not last long. Oh no! My boy's about to die! Doc actually almost died. Do you have a prime slip to give? Why should I give it to you and not to Roy? I really don't care. Give it to whoever.
are the controls for this game so far. They're pretty good. Oh. Marty McFly gets reunited with Doc. Even dark little friend. It's great to see that Seamus is no longer alone. Now we know that we can fight back against the Zerps. Momo has been waiting for you by the sewers. Doc and Seamus look happy. I think we did a good thing together. We did do a good thing together. Let's talk to them. Yeah, sure. I'm so happy he's back. Oh, they're just talking to other people. How would they not know his son? There's like 10 people in this town. Is that Momo? You can join him, but have you done everything you wanted in here? Because I'll close the door behind you. you don't want any Zerks coming through. Uh. What? No! You bitch! I decided I didn't do everything I want. Oh my god. They didn't even give me a chance to confirm. I was like, wait, I could go to the shop and get some stuff. Nope. We can go find the Baltazar. Let's go. I'm so confused though. Weren't weren't all of them supposed to go together? Cause the one person's notes was like, we're leaving tonight. And Momo isn't certain. So I was doc off on their own. This place is creepy. Damn, insightful. Can't see any way to open this gate. Can you take a look at the other side? Sure, pal. What if I don't get on? Oh, he waits for me. What the fuck? Are those Zerks up there? Um, I mean, I have, I've enjoyed it so far. I'm just a little tired because I don't think I slept that well. So if you see me yawning and stuff, it's not because the game's boring. It's because I'm tired. I also went rock climbing this morning. I need some sleep. Uh oh, toaster's on the fritz. Also, machinery is so broken now. I think we can only open it manually. Okay, well, how do we do that? That's gonna attract a lot of zerks. Jump below the door, it won't hold for long. I go on with you, but I won't stop looking for a way. When he finds the Baltazar and Clementine, tell them I was brave. Oh, what the hell? Oh, printing activates them. Activate any more of those eggs? I guess that's what they are. Is that blinking? Are those eyes? I 
Oh god. What the actual fuck? God damn, there's so many. Make it back? No, this is somewhere completely different. I really don't like that it's blinking at me. Oh, that's supposed to do both at the same time. Nope, we're good. Oh, oh my god. Boss fight? I'm about to get fucked up. Ooh. He did. Alright. Parkour, parkour. What if I just don't go through there? I probably would die. Oh, this was a cat simulator? It is. Are you telling me that you and your cats don't do shit like this every day? He did. Oh, he's alive! It was dark, I was alone, I felt like I was back in the network. Be save me, thank you, friend. Drawing that much power was rough on my core, the deflection was completely destroyed now. We'll have to be careful. You destroyed it, you fucking buffoon. Oh, hello, who are you? Why are you waiting for me? Aladdin, a traveler from the sewers. We haven't seen one of you in ages. Are you the one who contacted us earlier, the little outsider? Zabaltazar, the outsider, has been expecting you. He's meditating at the top of our village. Why does a robot need to meditate? Current how long to beat takes four hours to complete the main game. It takes seven hours to do everything. See, the official Twitter account said that it takes eight hours to complete the game on average. That's why I'm confused. Because, like, I wouldn't mind taking a break now, but if it's actually only four hours, then... You know. Oh fuck, I didn't see what he said. But I wasn't with him, he was alone. What was he doing? He uploaded himself into the computer and then everything was different. But the upload, something went wrong. He was stuck for hundreds of years until a little cat appeared. Oh my god, he's remembering. He is the scientist. Was it? It was. Me. I was the scientist. I was human. I, I need a moment. What else have I forgotten? 
I must have had parents, friends, what happened to everyone? I want to open the city, but is there uh, is there even anyone left to save? Oh, hello. Oh, he is plugged deep into the web. What is this? Ah, yes. Don't you know not to interrupt a fellow during his transcendental meditation? Oh, it's you. You were with Momo when we received that call earlier. I'm glad to meet you at last, little outsider. How did he know? What? I didn't know I was with them. Wait, you know Momo and Doc, so you're already familiar with those outsiders. I miss them. Their memory brings me peace. Momo stayed in the slums. I heard you helped find Doc and Clementine. She's in Midtown now. If you still want to see the outside, she's the one who can get you there. She, apparently, she had some kind of plan to leave the city. Here, take this. I wrote her address on the back of this picture. To reach Midtown, climb up our little village. It should be easy for a dexterous one like you. If you manage to reach the outside, you will be the very first. I'd wish you good luck, but you don't need it. I believe in you. Sorry for shutting down earlier. I'm human, probably the last in the world. Now look what's left of me. So much has come back to me. How much have I forgotten? Maybe if we find Clementine, we can restore my memories and get you back home at the same time. We can go back down and find out more from the companions or head onward to Midtown. This language, the companion robots made it up from scratch. How impressive. I remember it happening when I was in the network. I don't know when exactly, but at one time all the communication started to switch to these symbols. I was stuck in a computer and alone for a long time. So I translated every symbol and word one by one until I was able to understand everything. Now that I'm out, I know their language. I'm curious to hear all they have to say. Aunt Clementine used to hold classes here. We learned a lot of cool stuff. Aunt Clementine, huh? Well, buddy, how are you? Did you know that Aunt Clementine taught us how to grow special plants that can live without sunlight? I have a huge collection of them. Do you want to see? It's still missing some colors, though. I'm missing a yellow plant, a red one, and yes, a purple plant. If only someone small and agile could get them for me. Not me. I'm out this bitch. No, oh, going through a dark tunnel. Apex is having a weeb event. Oh, God. Good thing I don't play Apex. Who is side quest? Nah. The subway. Look at the subway station. I'd completely forgotten this kind of transportation existed. You could ride to anywhere in the city. People used to take it to go to work. I used to take it too. Every morning after saying goodbye to my family at home. I remember I was doing this for them, but they're gone now. It was so long ago. They wanted to see the outside, but does that even matter anymore? What happened to them? What happened to everyone? Anyway, we're near Midtown now. Let's find this Clementine. We have a picture of her. We can show it to some of the companions around here. Maybe they'll point us in the right direction. Man, that's so sad. Oh, hello. The dock. That's it? That's all you have to say about? Oh my. You're useless. Oh. Please, state your identity. Cooperate or we will have to transfer you to jail and reboot you. Please leave me alone, I'm not the one you're looking for. If you're looking for Clementine, I'm sure she's hiding in the residence. Damn. This merchant crook sold me a faulty battery the other day. Now he just pretends not to hear me every time I try to confront him. If it wasn't for the sentinels on patrol, he'd end up as spare parts. Oh, damn. Where the fuck am I going? I don't really know what to make of that, but... 
I know what to make of that. Hey, dumb face, we can see you too. Hey, those tapes are ours. Don't you know not to steal? What? Oh, those. I could give you one, but you'll have to do something for Genma, Miko, and me. Sentinel 7 stole three security cameras to watch over us. I don't like that at all. Can you get them off of our backs? Bro, just tell me where she is. It was boring since the Sentinels put cameras in our residence. Some fat as fuck, boy. Where's the third camera? Where is it? Both of these have spikes, so it's not there. Oh, wait, is that it? Oh my god, it's over. How was I supposed to see that? No one in chat, yeah. Anyone chat claims they knew, it means that they uh, are lying at their ass. Well then, I, th I didn't think you could do it. Here, take your prize, you earned it. I did all that just for a tape, man. I knew he said he would give me a tape, but I thought he would give me something more. Three, one, three, two, three, three. Three, four, three, five. Are we finishing it today? Um, I don't know how long it's supposed to actually be. Is that Clementine? Oh, it is. I thought you were a sent. Never mind. Who are you? What do you want? Is the Baltazar finally decided to send someone? I guess you're my new recruit. You're not very big. How'd you even manage the sewers? I guess you must be pretty resourceful. I'm looking for a way to the outside ever since I left Ant Village, but the Sentinels are always watching. Now that you're here, you can help. Follow me. I've been working on a plan to use the old subway for a while now. I even have the keys to start it. All we need is an atomic battery. Oh, is that all? I know Necro Corporation has one secured inside their factory. I have a contract contact who can help us infiltrate them. I don't know his name. He's the robot with a bomber jacket and a gold chain. Take this message to him. Nope. Oil. Don't no small Smith like you should have no trouble sneaking inside the factory. The last thing, don't hesitate to ask around for help. The city is full of information. Just stay clear of the sentinels. Just to make sure what, what do I exactly have to do. Okay, bomber jacket and gold chain. There he is. Where did you get that? Oh, you're with the outs. My contact. Let me brief you about the atomic battery. The battery is powering the Nico Corp factory right now, but there's a whole area. But this whole area is restricted and heavily guarded. They check every person who enters and turns away anyone who is not a worker. Here's an idea. Go get me a worker jacket, a worker helmet while I stay here. Check for a good time to enter. Can I just murder this person and take his stuff? Hey, little one, you can't play over here. The Nico Corp factory is no place for a little fuzzball like you. Access is restricted, but only for a little while. If you can wait a few years, we'll open right back up. Okay. Maybe the clothing store with that vest. You're one of those young punks listening to loud music all day. Don't touch anything, don't make any noise, don't ask for a credit. My god, that is so loud. Well, this is a hat store. 
No big can't trust shop while it's being restocked. Seeing how incompetent those two are, it might take a while. Been waiting for ages for stup Stuplachi to get back and help me restock these hats. The boss is not happy. That guy slacking off at the bar again. He has another thing coming. Okay, so I go to the bar, get him to come back. Oh, this is the bar. Guy in the back. Oh. What do I... Side, so I have to go behind the box and they'll bring it in. Yeet. Let's go. I see the worker's hat right there. I need to steal it. Get dressed now, mind turning around. <laughs> okay. Swear to God. These robots are inconsistent. These are great little snug around the waistline, but it'll do. Okay, hop in this box and I'll sneak you across the checkpoint. inspection. Okay, to find an atomic battery. Oh, oh no. Sub Renegade. I'm playing with controller, I am. When you load up, it literally says this game is better with a controller. I uh, made the executive decision. Okay, definitely not going that way. Just kidding. It doesn't seem like that's possible. There we go. Oh. 
Oh my god, my frames got all stuttery there. Alright, the grand heist. game. Maybe not. Can't steal our moves. Oh my god. Got him. Oh, I actually can just walk right by. That's cool. Oh my god, it shoots at you? Bruh. Bro, bro. Oh my god. Gun down. What? <laughs> Bro, I wasn't expecting to be gunned in the street. We're down to four lives now. Oh my god. Any kind of achievement because she died nine times? Oh no. Or Annie. Bro, are all these robots just going to come over here and stare at me while I'm in the box? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Bob and wave, Bob and wave. Ugh. Cat down. Do I actually... Oh, no. I'm so dumb. I made it. It only cost me two lives. No sign of Clementine. Oh, what's that? Looks like some kind of coded message. I have to play detective to figure out what's happened to her. Look. For B12 and the cat, the answer lies in my stuff. And then there's four symbols. It's signed Clementine. Take a look. It looks like a plant, some rocks, a traffic cone with legs, and a lamp. The lamp is right there. Oh. And there's the rocks. Maybe it acts as a beacon for us to find something useful. Bingo, there's a message that says Blazer. Oh, this is anything. Does, oh, that was something we needed. Something's been left here. It says, come to... Alright. So I need the lamp. Where is that lamp? There it is. Kind of mesmerizing. Sorry, I was also I didn't even notice this message here. It reads, "Nightclub." Okay. They call me Lieutenant Cat. Now let's go find her. We don't have much time. Dude. It turned around. I think the bouncer's gonna let us in. Hey guys, I think we're gonna have to climb at the back again. Is this a pimp? Can I push him off?
Uh, howdy, how are you doing today? That's it. How'd you get up here? You want to party with us? Here, jump in and go get a drink. Imagine seeing a cat on a window and be like, come on in, get a drink. Access to the VIP balcony is closed. Some private biz is going on there. It has been reserved by some blazer guy, I think. So I gotta get up there. You know, I wish. Oh, take strange drink. Okay. Club sucks. When I tried to get to the super VIP room, they kicked me out. Can you believe it? I stole this lever just for kicks. If you get me, a, give me a drink. I'll give you this silly lever. I don't need it. And I don't want to be caught with it. God. Took all that time just to find out that stupid fucking guy had taken it. I had several complaints, so no, we can't disable the hall dancers because some idiot thought it was funny to steal the lever handle. You know, you want a drink or something? Sentinels, I don't understand why people complain so much about them. Bye, Gert. Uh oh. Blazer. Two birds with one stone. You're not as clever as you look, little cat. Anyway, nothing personal. Business is business. So he's been working for the Sentinels, huh? Business is money, and I value money way more than friendship or camaraderie. They are all yours. Oh, they killed me. It made sense. The guy was like, I have a good relationship with them. I wonder why. God, I'm so smart. Ooh. So everyone else got put in cells with like locks and chains and I got put in a floating box. I ain't complaining, but that seems a little inconsistent. I can't understand you. What game is this? Stray. Even the security people have uh, photos of the beaches. Oh my god, what is this prison?
Chat, if I ever go to prison, you know how you can always bring one item with you to prison? I'm gonna bring a cat. I'm gonna bring Bagel. He's gonna sleep all day like that, but he'll be able to save me. Last cheater since Trey, yeah. You ever play Max Payne 3? I have not. Oh, guys are getting so tired. I need a nap. But apparently we might be close to done. Oh. They really locked my boy up in a crypto cage, huh? Crazy as all this happened just from me sliding down a wall. Quite the intricate system to lock up my buddy. And they all have it on one lever. out this bitch imagine being imagine an entire robotic civilization being outsmarted by a fucking tabby cat just imagine he just manifested that what you came back for me. I can't believe that you're a good friend. Meow. So glad that we're all together again, but we're not safe yet. We need to find a way out of here. Can you open that door just there? Yeah, this won't be loud at all. That doesn't seem like the best option. But it probably was the only option, I guess. It was loud. Those sentinels are blocking the way again. They will spawn me instantly. Maybe you can try to bait them into those cells and lock them in. Ask me to bait them.
Bro. <laughs> I'm on my last life? Oh my god. Oh, I didn't do that right. Oh no, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm not dead, I'm a fucking gunner. Oh, I'm so dumb. I forgot I can just run out through the bars. I don't have to time it or anything. Hello. You see that guy on the ground over there? He was rebooted. I don't want to lose my memory. I'm so scared. No, 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 no. Oh, thank God. Let's <laughs> say, I got timing again. Bro, what? Where are we going? Why does this have so many layers to it? It's prison. Can't you just walk out? I guess here's where we walk out. I have to find a way to get access to that room though, let's look around. You could easily just throw me over the fence, but I guess not. I'm gonna chop this tree down. Just you guys wait. I guess that works too. Why do we have to have a whole car? You can literally pick me up and throw me over. Instead we're turning on a loud ass car? What? This is even shorter than the previous one. I guess now we have a car, so... He drove away, or she drove away without me? Well, we lost all our lives. But why are you driving away? Let me on! Why are you abandoning me? Maybe I just hide behind the bots? That did not work, that did not work, that did not work. Serpentine, serpentine, serpentine. Okay. You are the worst getaway partner. Fuck you, Clementine. I hope you get into a car crash and get rebooted. How did you lose the car? The car was right in front of you. She locked me up. I can distract him for a little while, but you have to go. The Outsider's Manifesto says we must go outside at any cost. I wrote that. Oh. 
You're one of us now. It's not that everyone has to get to the outside, but one of us has to. Okay, so no offense. But you're telling me that if you're in a situation where you're like, okay, only one of us can make it out between a sentient robot and a cat, they choose the cat? Keep you in my RAM. Or kitty cat. So now what? I go all the way back to. Zalbazardsekar, whatever his name is. Well, that's definitely gonna be something for later. I, I know I need to get something for that. But all I have is my key. Oh, wait. Is that a battery? Why didn't it let me use that? Oh, my God. I hate it here. I swear it showed only the key last time. I could be crazy, but I swear. I'll have to go back in the recording and see. Did you guys see the option for a battery? I don't think so. Alright, take the subway. I feel like I should just quit, like, now. Because if I keep going, the longer I go, the closer I get to the end, which means tomorrow's stream will just be super short. Was just off screen a bit? Nah. I hate it here. Well, music, everyone makes me hate it here, so. <sighs> Control room. Hmm. 12 hour stream. Hello, how may I help you? Greetings, inhabitant of Walled City 99. The store leading to the surface is currently locked due to the confinement procedure. Please refer to any certified engineer inside the control room if you have any requests. Have a nice day. The control room is closed by some sort of security protocol. It says that only humans are authorized to enter. Also says that I'm not considered human. Hey, that's offensive security protocol. Maybe if we work together, we can open this passageway. But press Y and nothing happens. Oh. oh. What? What? I, whatever. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> that robot sounds just like you. This is, oh no, this is not a robot. This is the control room for the entire city. They controlled everything from here, and it's empty. I remember hating them so much that everything, clean space, limitless power, freedom to move, little good it did them. The plague, I remember now. Everyone was dying and they thought they were above it all. They did nothing to help us. I watched my family die. I felt hopeless. I couldn't do anything to save them. But I can still help you. We can still go outside. Together. I'll carry the memories of humanity and the people I loved. Well, that's depressing. So the yellow bars are definitely like the story and then the blue are the optional and I miss like half the blue if not more. This is it, the main computer. According to the mainframe, no one has been here for years. The whole city is stuck in a lockdown cycle from long ago. If we disable it, we should be able to leave. We need to bring the rest of these systems online. 
These computers hold the data we need. We need to turn them on. While you do that, I'll look for passwords and encrypted keys to get into the system. how I turn on everything, I just walk on. This game really was made for uh, people with cats. Good job, my friend. I found it. I know how to open the city. Something's off here. Uh-oh. Wait, maybe there's a way around it. system is locked. There, that's the workstation to open the city, but there are several layers of security preventing us from using it. Now we need to do what we do best. Me, I'll hack the, the machines and you destroy some stuff. Oh, there we go. I swear I didn't see them off before. Oh, damn! They shocked them. This system is taking more than I expected. figured it out. The hits don't, uh, don't work anymore. Don't worry, I can recharge once we open the workstation. No, he doesn't. Oh, no, he can't. He's gonna die, and he's gonna be like, I knew I was gonna die. I had to sacrifice myself for you. And it's just gonna be my fucking dumbass cat roaming the world. Where humans and robots could have been. You gonna die. Thanks for sub R Duppy. I think this little body is done for. It's okay, I'll be alright. Just carry me to the workstation. We can disable that alarm. You gonna die. That's it, we're safe. Listen, I have something to tell you. I knew the power required to disable the city central system would be immense, more than this drone body could handle. But with the security now disabled, I can take control of the system and open the city. Overriding it would destroy my software. I made that choice when I hooked into my first computer and the consequences it could bring. Man, I'm, fu I'm so sp smart. I'm sorry we won't see the outside together. I thought I needed to carry on the memories of humanity to hold on to the past. I see a future in the companions in you. Here, let me take that off of you. You were my friend and the very best I could ask for. Thank you. Oh my god, the control is vibrating a lot. Kind of nice. He did. That was so sad. kill them? Oh yeah, because they said UV. Intense amounts of UV will kill them.
I guess they would turn off because you only need the security system so long as the city is sealed. As soon as it's open, then you're good. He slept with his buddy one more time. It's still vibrating. Hey, it stopped. Okay. Guess I can't talk to the robots anymore. I don't have my little buddy. It's beautiful. So lush, so green, so vibrant. That was the cat jam right there. What do his eyes keep twinkling white? Dicks, bro. What a great way to end. <laughs> I love dicks, bro. That was four hours and 20 minutes with like a six minute food break in between. The game was like 30 bucks, four and a bit of playtime. I didn't really do any extra stuff. Like, apparently, there's a ton of side quests that you can do, and I didn't do any of them. Um, but still, that's like, you know, eight bucks an hour. It's not bad. That was a sad game, but I liked it. I would recommend it.